So we got the Scout running. Um, the motor fires up just nicely and sounds pretty good. But we kind of discovered a couple of things while we were doing that. We discovered that he kind of had to tweak a whole bunch of wiring because none of the lights worked. Do they all work now? Okay, so they all work now. We also discovered that the original dash that Mike spent an absurd amount of time. And still spending a lot of time. The original dash. That's not what you're working on. Still spending a lot of time because it is nowhere The original now. gauges do not work if you would let me finish. <laughs> the original gauges do not work. They do not play with the new wiring system. So they just don't play. Mike um, swapped to one of the big flat screen holly dashes for the Chevelle, which meant that the speed hut gauges that he painstakingly picked out, I don't know, 12 years ago now, were sitting unused for like four minutes and then we realized we needed to reuse them. So he bought a new dash cover that he -da, cut some nice, beautiful little circles into and he installed the speed hut gauges. And that's what he's been working on now. Uh, in addition to that, we kind of suspected that the motor was gonna be a little loud for a off-road cruiser. So in addition to the, um, actually, I don't know, is that also a Flowmaster? The mm -hmm. other? Okay. Yeah, the big one is one of the, oh, what is it? The Laminar Flow, I forget which one it is. One of their, yeah, Flow FX things, I think. Long story short, yeah. it's got two mufflers on it to kind of quiet it down. And it, it now has a nice, quiet little rumble. I'll play those clips later. Um, I'm gonna try and get them to turn it on here after we pull the former tow pig out of the shop. Um, so yeah, we have progress. We have plumbed up the fuel tank, which that was kind of a little bit of a, uh, I can't really see it. That's the, that's the exhaust. Um, plumbed up the fuel. So now we have our brand new massive fuel tank from Anything Scout. And now plumbed in and takes fuel, doesn't leak so far. Bonus. Which is a bonus. Um, though it runs, it does not drive because we are still running on Bluetooth drive shafts. And probably will be for a little while. So um, we're going to kind of gather up a couple of funds, take it to the drive shaft shop, probably after summer. And then we'll be riding in it. Um, in the meantime, he's still going to be in wiring hell. As one can see, he still mm -hmm. has to finish the seat bases. We have one seat base finished. It would, like the Chevelle, I didn't take apart, but it was easy because you can very readily buy a manual that has pictures and diagrams of where things go. You can't find that for scouts. Yeah. Um, and some of the things that should plug in don't actually fit because they're not factory fittings. <laughs> um, someone thought he was going to go for a ride in a car that doesn't move. So yeah, he's he's in wiring hell, which is, I don't know. Taking forever. Second least favorite, second to last for least favorite things to do because I'm pretty sure that Body work and painting is number one on your list nah, for... No, I'd rather do body work. At least you see progress with that. I'd rather he not do body work. Um, mm. But anyway, that is the stock seat base for the Scout.
that is not a stock seat. That is actually a seat out of a JL Jeep, a wrecked JL Jeep. We wanted to go with a more modern seat and bonus, they are heated. So we will we have- got this. They're ready. Oh, he's so excited about that. Um, but the passenger side's not done. So that is gonna be another one of the fab things he has to do is get the passenger side done. Then the seats will be in, and then the big fab stuff starts. And the big fab stuff is gonna be a cage and uh, bumpers, tailgate swing for the spare tire, drawer system. Oh yeah, we gotta paint the interior while we're at it. At least the floor. At least everything from like the windows down have to be repainted um, because the floor does have some surface rust on it and the previous owner, I don't know, took like the world's worst grinding stone, grinding stone to it. So it, it needs it needs some paint in order to at least protect it. I think, are we gonna raptor line the floors? I thought we were. Uh, I would like to raptor line the floors just for added protection. And then we're doing carpet. The carpet kit's been in the house for like two years. So we are doing carpet. I don't know. I'm sure I'm missing a whole bunch of stuff, but right now it's functioning as, it's functioning as storage. Oh yeah. We went with a color match. Joking. This is actually a stock color from Momo, but it actually matches with the yellow of the scout. So bonus. Um, and a, is this an I did it or is this a, just a... No, this one's an I did it. An I did it steering. Because we did the, we did the store brand first on the, the F100 and it worked good. It just didn't... It didn't last. It didn't handle our abuse. Yeah, that was why we did the I did it replacement on the F100 yeah. early or late last year. Yeah. So this one we just kind of skipped ahead and went with a better quality column. Which came with their digital, or I guess their electronic, like relay box that's in there. And I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting just a standard column, but it's kind of neat because it runs all of the trigger wire through it, the relay box in there. So I know it's been a minute since we've done scout content because we've been hard focused on our other projects, um, but we're back with it. And I think we'll continue to make pretty steady progress with it as the summer progresses because our major upgrades on the race cars are pretty much done. We still have some buttoning up to do on um, airflow for the F100. Yeah, it's just too far. But I think we're still kind of in the planning and design phase for that. Yeah, I think. I'm really not sure how to go about doing that. Yeah, if anybody wants to volunteer to do that for us, huh, please, but I doubt it. So yes, yeah, scout content, hooray. Insert motor running video here.